Hi everyone, welcome to ITS workshop. So in last video we created a simple Maven project. Now in order to make it useful for us we need to we need to provide uh, particular dependencies which we are going to use in the project. So earlier uh, without using Maven uh, you can you have to add different jars with your project. So those jar adding manually you have to download all jars then you have to add you have to create your own library then you need to provide in Eclipse so in uh, using Maven the task is very easy now you don't have to download all the required jars for your project you just provide dependency like this uh, uh, like uh, here we are providing dependency for JUnit so in this project if you if you check that JUnit jar is already downloaded by Maven. So Maven is handling all this work of downloading jar and adding these as library for your project. So Maven is helping us in that. So let us see how to provide other dependency. So uh, this is my suggestion that whatever dependency you are looking for, uh, you you should you should know the particular dependency name and particular group id artifact id and for the version you are working especially uh, like for example if i want to create this project for hadoop development so this is the first dependency which is provided over here now i need to resolve these dependencies also so like hadoop common one dependency and Hadoop yarn common and Hadoop MapReduce client common and Hadoop MapReduce client code. So these are the four dependency dependencies which I'm looking for. So the method which I apply uh, just you can search Maven repository for Hadoop common. Then you can find Maven repository website like this and here you can see maven gradle and various for various tools dependencies are given so i'm selecting this one and now in hadoop common if you see there are various dependencies according to version so you can find out the uses whether it is in production people are how many people are using it or not so right now I'm using Hadoop version 2.7.3 so this is the dependency I'm looking for and Hadoop client, SDFS and different web dependencies you can find so like I want to select this one so 2.7.3 and you just go to it select this dependency copy it and you provide in your dependency tag so you can find two tags are here dependencies so under dependencies we have dependency tag so for dependency tag you can provide the other one or as many dependencies as you want so whatever your project is using whether it is tomcat or the spring framework strut or any other dependencies you can provide over here so now you can format it so just shift control f it will format so one dependency and then i'm going to provide all of these I need to change the version I think yarn I have already provided so you can provide whichever version you are working with now this example is for Hadoop but these concepts are applicable for any technology or framework you are using so we are providing version which version we are using like Tomcat this 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 likewise so group id and particular version which your project is intended to work with
now you can see I have provided all dependencies and if you see this this is the structure so we got J unit earlier during project creation and after J unit I provided these dependencies so first for yarn common, Hadoop common, I produce client common and client code and the version which I am working with is 2.7.3 and if I want to use any other framework or technologies I will just go ahead and provide that related dependency over here so for time being this is fine I think it will work so after putting your dependencies in POM file you just press ctrl s you save save everything now you can see that maven is actually downloading all those dependencies over here so if you go to maven dependencies right now it's empty there is nothing and once this download is completed then you can see all these jars required jars on which your project is supposed to work will be included so i'm pausing the video by the time it downloads and one once more i'm stating this that your internet should be connected and it, it is helpful if it is without proxy so you just provide your dependency in your POM file and then you save so when you save it it downloads it and this download doesn't happen every time you create similar project like this so it, this is the first time it does and then it saves all these jars in your local repository from that local repository it can retrieve all these jars again for the next similar project if you are using same dependencies so i'm just pausing the video we'll see after download so now you can see that uh, the downloading is finished and earlier it was uh, in if you come to your project and if you come to maven dependencies so earlier it was only JUnit jar now it has downloaded all other required jars information whatever we are using in this project so you can see there are a lot of jars which are being used so you don't have to manually search and download all these required jars for your project maven handles all this task for you you just need to provide this dependency tag and whatever you are providing here so all jars related to that dep dependencies are downloaded and it doesn't happen every time you are creating similar project like this so it's it stores all these information all this in your local repository and when you, you are creating another new project similar project and you are providing similar dependency so it takes the dependency is resolves the dependency from the local repository so it goes ahead only for the new jar information which you are providing only for the new dependencies so for the new dependency it trade uh, it goes to internet and from maven repository it downloads everything so that's how we provide we edit pom.xml file for any sort of project if we want to build and this the example for basic Hadoop project so if you like this video please click on like button please share and subscribe for more videos like this